What's up guys, Ali here. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about why the Los Angeles Lakers super team hasn't been working out like everyone expected it to be. So at first, everyone was saying, oh, this team now, they got Russ, they're stacked, AD, um, and then LeBron as well. A big three right there. Everyone's like, oh, this team's going to win it all. They got Carmelo, Anthony, they added on now too. So at that point, everyone's like, all right, uh, why not them? Versus the Nets in the finals. You know, Nets, once they get healthy, it'll be a super team as well for them. But, unfortunately for the Lakers, they have been really bad this season, to be honest. I mean, the reason why they have been struggling is look at Anthony Davis. He has not been playing like he should be. I mean, LeBron is 37 years old. He is still the best player on the team. Like, that's crazy. At that age, and he's still, like, he's so great, but he's, he shouldn't be the best on the team at that age. Russ, AD have to step it up. And an AD cannot stay healthy. That's a problem. He's always getting injured every time. So that's another reason why. And then Russ has been terrible. He just can't fit in with the system. The problem with the Lakers is, with their whole franchise, they always try to trade away all these good young pieces for like superstars to hope they can win a championship. As you know, it does not always work that way at all. They always have, you notice every time a player there that's like, okay, leaves, he becomes so good. Look at Julius Randle, Jordan Clarkson, Kyle Kuzma, Montrezl Harrell. All these players who are there become so good once they leave L.A. Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram. All these players are so good now on their team. Look at how they're doing. Like, seriously. And then once these superstars go to the Lakers, they just kind of they can't handle the pressure. I mean, Russ is having a horrible season. The worst I've seen him. His shooting percentage is so bad. He turns it over every game. He can't do anything. His stats all around are just so low. That's why they're struggling. AD, of course, like I said, he can't stay healthy. He's always getting hurt. And then Carmelo at this age, you know, at this point in his career, late 30s, he's not the type of player that can help you. Like, he's a good role player now at his age. He's not the same player who can help you win games. And that's a big problem. People have to understand that. Like, he's not going to be able to, like he did with the Knicks or the Nuggets when he was young, He's not the same player. Besides that, the Lakers don't have anyone else. Avery Bradley is not good enough to help out. Um, Dwight Howard, he is not good enough anymore like he was with the Magic. Of course, he's getting old. Look at their roster. They're in their late 30s. They lost Rondo. He was no help at all. I mean, they don't have... Wade Ellington hasn't done anything at all. They just don't really have any other pieces to help. Look at the Bulls, for example. They're so much better. DeMar DeRozan, who could have been a Laker... He is not there, but with the Bulls, he's amazing. He's a superstar and always has been. With Toronto, San Antonio, you just never heard about him because, you know, they're a small market. DeMar has been amazing every year. He's killing it with the Bulls. Look at Alonzo now. He's on the Bulls. He's doing good. Caruso, the Bulls have so much. Um, Zach Levine, who's so young and he's so good. He's amazing. And then Vucevic, he's an amazing player as well. He's not old at all. He's a great center, one of the best in the league at his position. Um, they have a super team. The Bulls are so good at playing how they should be. That's a good roster, not the Lakers. Like They're not performing well. The Nets are so much better than the Lakers. That's easy. Warriors, they have so much more depth than the Lakers. Clay, Curry, Draymond, Jordan Poole wants to get Wiseman back as well. They have a good coach, of course. And this the depth on the Warriors team is that Otto Porter's been helping them out too. They just have so many good weapons they can rely on. Steph is amazing. I mean, that... It's unreal how good he is. You know, with him, the Warriors are going to be competitive. Who knows? They can win it all this year. We'll see. But, I mean, again, Brooklyn. Suns are so much better than the Lakers. Oh, man. I mean, look what they did last year. There's so many teams that are better than the Lakers. Bucks are better. Um, and then you add on three teams in the East. I can name, honestly, four. Miami, they're better than the Lakers. There's so many teams who just... Lakers might be a playoff team, but that's it. They are not winning anything in the playoffs. Um it's over. I think they have to trade Russ. That's what they're planning on doing. AD is not playing like how he should. Like I said, the Lakers can't, like, they got to focus on building young players, let them develop, you know? They don't do that. They always rely on all these, trying to get, like I said earlier, all these superstars, and that's why it's not working out for them. You can't have a 37 year old LeBron James carrying a team. No matter how good you are, how great you are, that's not going to happen. It's not good enough for the Lakers to do it. If they kept their players they had before and actually let them develop into a system, 
not worry about the pressure and actually have a good coach. Frank Vogel is terrible in my opinion. Like seriously, look look at what he's doing. And then you fix all of that, they would be like contenders at least. You can't just stack on these old players who are superstars, you think still, and expect to win a championship just like that. It's not how it works. The Nets have way more depth. They got some good veteran pieces who are actually still good at their age, unlike the Lakers. KD is amazing once he's healthy. I mean, look how great he is. He could be MVP. Kyrie, when he actually plays, he's a great player. James Harden's kind of struggling, but he's still Harden. He can, you know, he's still amazing. Um, he's such a good scorer every year. He just That's what he does, though. So they have a big three, but they got so much more weapons, I feel like. A lot of young players. Nets do have some, some young talent. Lakers have, like, one or two young players on their team, and that's it. The rest are just like late 30-year-olds, mid-30s. That's it, you know, you can't. So, again, that's the reason why I'm struggling so much. Um, let me know in the comments down below if anything I forgot to add on or what else the Lakers can do to get better or why they've been struggling. So let me know down below. If you can please leave a like. If you're new, if you can subscribe to the video, please, uh, to my channel. I'd appreciate that. And I'll see you guys soon.